All right, what's up, team? What's up? Ben Solak here, National Scout with NDT Scouting. We're watching some Sony Michelle film. So psyched about that. Uh, Sony Michelle here is running back from Georgia. I I was not on the Sony 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 Michelle Sony Michelle. I was on the Michelle train so much in the beginning of the season. I'm a big Nick Chubb guy myself. Uh, but Sonny had such a good season, so I'm going to get a little bit deeper into how he plays, what makes him special for a lot of people. We're starting here with the game against Vanderbilt pretty early in the season. It's the longest one we've got. A lot of these cut-ups for these running backs are small, especially when you're in a timeshare like you are with Sonny and Nick Chubb and obviously DeAndre Swift as well. they got nice backs there in Georgia. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them as we go. I will be watching the comment section. But until then, boom, Sonny Michelle, let's do the thing, number one. All right, let's check out this choice here. A little inside zone sort of a look. Yeah, a little inside zone. Press the gap there, feel him coming. That's nice, I like this, right? Upfield press, I feel, I feel him, right? I feel this guy here. And so I'm gonna see if I can press upward into the, uh, you know, further to my right, see if there's anything there. I see a little bit of a crease, I take it. I think that's Isaiah Wynn, 77. Isn't able to really keep that block there sealed. But that's all good. Let's see. Yeah, it is win 77 trying to work up there against that 5 tech, it looks like. He never really is able to get across the half man, but still. Nice little game from Sonny. Look at that through contact. Look at how he approaches contact. Ducks into it. Good leg drive there. That's nice. Don't know why I need these clips. Don't know why I need this. All right, now he's in there. There's a similar situation. They've run around the inside zone twice now. Not even so much inside zone. It's just this regular wash. Yeah, it's still a little zone luck. Feels that backside pursuit. Is there any daylight here that he misses out on? Not really. I mean, it would be nice to see 18 here seal this backside to open up a little bit of a crease right as we watch 18's not gonna be able to get the inside oh hello not gonna be able to get the inside shoulder here gotta get inside of 14 there 18 and give your running back a little alleyway to take Michelle fights through contact though I can dig that we got a lot of little dead time in this and this cut up here. All right, Sonny. That's a nice burst. Oh, oh, oh! What was that, Sonny? Uh oh, I'm smiling now. Boom, upfield. Watch him stop. Mm. Oh, that's something. All right, let's break this down as it goes. Interior runs here, right? Yep, same same little inside zone look, right? And they got the box they wanted, right? We got six hats here, six hats on, on the offensive side, and we got a six-man box here on the defensive side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the look that they wanted to. Sonny's going to have to make this man miss, right? That's going to be his responsibility. Now, where's that man go? Right, he's pushing up. So Sonny sees, oh, so see, see, we've got a little inside zone. They're leaving our end here, and man on the line of scrimmage is unblocked worrying about the, the quarterback running threat, which allows you to make this double team right here, which is what opens up this crease so nicely for Sonny Michelle. Now, I want to watch. What is 53? 53 is at the center? Yeah. Nice work by the center there. That's bad feel by the defensive tackle, but it's a good little work by the center. Boom. Reset the left hand. Drop the hips. Nice. Look at that. Burst up field. Knock you over. Oh, that's such great feel. Oh, this is fun, guys. Okay, so as the safety comes to fill, right, this is the one man that Sonny has to beat, identifies him, puts a shoulder into him, boom. That's so easy. Like, like he doesn't even, there's not even, like, a repercussion through his body. Just chucks him. Now, watch that. Oh, that's so impressive, right? Now, I want to watch this in real time again because how much momentum does he have coming forward after this hit that he stops? That's still a lot of momentum that he's able to, he's able to put one foot in the ground. 
boom, and that's such great feel, right? We talk about feel, just spatial awareness. We, were, we saw it on that first rep, and now we're going to see it again here from Michelle. The, the spatial awareness to sense what's coming up from up here, right? To feel that, set, that corner. There's that corner. Boom, I can get around him. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. I want to watch the, the mobility a little bit through here. Right, so hips don't come around super cleanly, right? But he also gains ground on that. So we see the toe drag with his right foot, right? So we're going to see his left foot stops his momentum, right? And then he really, he gets his right foot is the one that, that, that turns him at that angle, right? And he has a toe drag with his right foot to help slow his momentum. So his hips look a little stiff here, but it could mostly just be optical illusion based off of how he's coming into this cut from such a weird angle, right? So his hips look a little bit stiff, and you can see how he has to gather his shoulders a little bit because his hips don't come through all the way. So we'll just keep an eye on that. But that, 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 that cut is at such a unique place footwork-wise and everything that it doesn't bother me too much. That was a great run by Sony Michelle. Great run. And now we've got extra time that we don't need. A little replay. Boom. Nice. Why well, this is at this is at 75. I'm, I'm gonna put this at 75 because normal speed is above normal and that bothers me. I don't know why these cutups get sped up on on YouTube, they drive me crazy. He just getting carried. Fifty three, the setter is just carrying him. <laughs> so I mean, I, I want to see how he addresses this hole here a little bit, because I'm not sure I like how his shoulders come through. Right here, a little bit earlier than right here, but right here, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing I've got 53's back, and I've got this guy shedding, right? And Michelle still looks, if you look at his shoulders, the way they're set, he's still running this way. I'd love to see him get skinny right up here to avoid this guy, right? That's not what we see him do. And so as a result, he kind of gets bear hogged here a little bit. By 77, he's able to get into his area. Now, Michelle's looking this way, I believe, because he's squaring up four, 14 right here, right? But I'd love to see him get skinny there. You know, angle the shoulders a little bit. So, so, so nice contact balance. Now, 53 is going to pick him up and just start driving him. That's Georgia football right there. Good job with the ball security. He's feeling people coming for him, too. That's nice. Oh, okay. So check this out. Something I didn't catch on the one angle. Always good to get different angles. So he's coming through with the shoulders like we were talking about, right? But watch 49 peek his head in here, right? So 49 is able to peek here and get that paw out. That paw right there, right? And so that's part of the reason why Sony is taking this hole so much on this side because 49 is getting good work coming in from this direction. And then as part of that process, because he has to, Sony has to come through this hole closer to this side. Now 77, the other defensive tackle is also able to affect the play. So it isn't that, that the error that I saw earlier wasn't too much of a problem. We see nice ball security as folks are coming through with it. A lot of contact balance we've caught from Sony Michelle already. A 53 takes him for a ride. Good stuff. Like what I've seen so far, folks. Lightning, thunder, and lightning. This is just replays what he's already done. We already got these camera angles. I don't know why this cut up is including all this information. Oh, the wildcat for Sonny. That was a nice little patience right there. It's tough. At a wildcat, you you know, the, the instinct is always go, 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 hit it downhill. They're giving him a zone look. Yeah, zone look. So he seems, it looks to me like he presses initially B, uh, play side B gap right here. This is leveraged out. So now I'm going to check play side A gap, right? Play keeps going. Oh, hello. There it is. Let's bring that back, a skosh. So right here, we're pressing play side B gap. That's filled quite nicely. So we go to play side A gap. We see Phil. 
We see backside A gap, we see fill. So I'm just gonna keep on pressing line of scrimmage, working back to my backside, working back to my backside. There's the Ed man in line of scrimmage who's unblocked. I've gotta get up field and just pick up two yards, able to do so. Understanding of his keys. We've seen we've seen predominantly inside zone flow for Sonny Michelle. That was a nice example of him just going through his reads, continuing to press the line of scrimmage, finding the correct hole and taking it. I really like these Vanderbilt jerseys. Just realized that. Those are pretty fresh. Oh, let's go back. Second and 16 for Sonny. Inside zone yet again. Hmm. Interesting way he takes on contact here, right? If I were to pause it right here and ask you, with which shoulder does Sonny Michelle hit this backer? You tell me his left shoulder, right? Why wouldn't he? Come through this way, deliver a shot, boom, left shoulder, lay it into him. Sony kind of tucks into him, see that? Sony tries to cut back a little bit here and he takes it on the right shoulder instead. I think what he wants to do here is wiggle back underneath this uh, this center 53 and go to the backside a gap but 53 gets a little bit chucked back into him and there's nowhere he can go i prefer really in this situation i understand the desire to wiggle it but just hit the hit the hit this hole hard look at this hole it's a nice sized hole right nobody's uh vanderbilt backside defensive line does a good job preventing anybody from climbing up you can see right there this guard is trying to climb up to go tag him Right, but the defensive linemen here are doing a good job keeping him from climbing. So, you know, other players make good plays sometimes. Yeah, it seems like he's trying to squeeze by, right? So he looks like he's trying to wiggle to 53. I'd love to see right here. You got your shoulders pointed this way? Drive. Just drive, deliver a good hit on this guy. You know what I mean? Let's not make this more complicated than it has to be. Boom. Still stays upright through first contact, though. One of my favorite things about this kid. All right, so now we got something a little, a little, a little bit of a different look here. Nope, still inside zone. <laughs> Just different look in the front. It's nice work by that center again. Fifty-three. He's starting to catch my eye here. Oh man. Uh oh. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you poor thing. We're gonna watch it in real time. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, he's a monstrosity. All right, let's bring it back to half speed. So, lane opens up super clear. 53 tags that one tech, boom. Right guard resets. Take them in a linebacker. Sony with the contact balance through. Now, again, this is an interesting situation here. So what do we got? We've got corner. Back turned. He's running with the, with the uh, with the little receiver action. We got this number four. I'm assuming he's also a corner, maybe a little overhang defender coming in from this side. And we got the single high safety who's over here, right? You find somebody to block. Let's go. Let's do something, right? I want to see Sonny go, go get some space, right? What we see him do, and we're talking about feel and vision. He identifies this defender. There's a look right there. He's looking. He's seeing number four, right? So he's identifying him. And he goes to give a little wiggle, like he's thinking about cutting underneath him, right? And getting him to over pursue and then coming underneath him. I wonder if you've got good speed, Sonny, go. Don't set him up, just take him. Just outrun him, right? But then, you know, he tries to wiggle. He realizes that he's not going to get the, he's not going to be able to get behind number four. And then he kind of levels into that free safety, which is nice. But why, look at this space to the left. Look at, look at all this space that's going to come up right up here. Outrun him. Go take that space. You know what I'm saying? I want to watch it through one more time. It's nice timing and feel to get through that hole as it develops. Good footwork. Yeah, that right there bothers me a little bit. All right, I'm very interested to continue watching Sonny and the decisions that he makes in the second level. Right? Oh, is he yelling at four? Yeah, he's yelling at four. What was four supposed to do? Right, he's telling four, if you just block Vanderbilt's number four, right, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Touchdown. I can beat that one guy. I can pass him. He's pissed. Watch him yell, watch him yell at Harwin Jr. here. Hardman Jr. 
Let's go block somebody. Man, look at how yoked up Sonny Michelle is. He's stacked. Alright, let's keep it rolling. Oh, we got a little reply? Oh, this would be nice. So, feel, plant, nice anticipation of the crease, contact balance. Look at, what, just watch the activity through the entire body. See, Shed's 49 here. Watch his hips. Just like, look at that power right there through the lower half. That's awesome. And yeah, I'd love to see him just burn five. That's okay. Clearly, you know, Hardman Jr., that wide receiver, that number four, needs to do something as well. A little play action. Okay, glad we got to see that. Hmm. Nice power there. All right. What's bothering me here? Well, outside zone sort of look. No, it's still inside zone, actually. They snap it from the hash. I wish I had this in the all 22, the end zone angle. Right, so very clearly, right? We're stacked here, right? We got leverage, and this backer has sense over pursued. So the ideal path for Sonny is certainly through this gap, and then either beat this backer out here, or cut back underneath and beat number two in space, right? These are his options. I'm wondering why does he hit 65 here, right? How close is, is this backside nose to getting him? I think this is very similarly, if you were with us earlier when I was talking about this, I think this is similarly to the point where if I had the end zone angle, I'd be able to better say. I think he's making a good decision as far as how he approaches this hole, but I, it does bother me that he kind of clipped 65 there. I feel like he had more space than he needed to. It's a nice little power. Again, I find myself wondering, dude, like, I don't know, maybe go here. Like, you know, he stiff arms here. Like, you see him reaching out for the stiff arm. That's the plan. Disengage and go run in space, Sonny. Like, you're, you're physical and that's fun. But you're going to be better where there are no no defenders. Like, that's that's the ideal situation for you. You would rather be running where there are no defenders than when there are some defenders. I think you just, like, you know, he loves him a little contact, Petey. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, Sonny. Inside zone. I like how he presses this line of scrimmage again. All right, and he does this quite well. So, Vanderbilt's got this plugged up real nicely, right? Look at all these hats right here. This is a good situation for him. So Sonny's going to go, right? He gives that look over there to the end man line of scrimmage. Understand where you are, okay? Press in place that B gap. So much traffic, so much traffic. So what do I do? I work backside, I work backside, I work backside. I stick my nose in there. I pick up some tough yardage. It's a good run. This is like, this is a sort of run that I would just call he's checking boxes, right? Like, they, it's, it looks uninspiring. It looks like there's not much to get from it. But a bad running back m musses that up, right? When people complain about Saquon Barkley, like, Saquon is, is a sort of player where he could potentially muss that up, where he makes a stupid decision that there's no reason for him to make, right? But Michelle just says, all right, I'm going to trust my keys. I'm going to press the hole. I'm going to pick up three. It's second and seven. Go team. Go dogs. Inside zone. Oh, wow. Does he get out of there? Oh, mama. Guys, this is really nice. Because look at this, right? We've got covered, covered gap, and then we got two here for this gap right here, right? Two here for this blocker. So really, this, this backside gap is already covered twice. As long as this linebacker here maintains this leverage, all the gaps should be covered on the inside, right? And watch how Sonny Michelle times his way through this. That is a very, very skinny crease through which he just worked. That's what contact balance does for you. That's what running behind your pads does for you. All right, what are you doing? Don't fall over. Why is he running like that? <laughs> That's weird. He like never really gets comfortably into his own stride. Oh, does he still stay in bounds? Give me that. Give me that touchdown sign, ref. What's up? All right, let's watch this at full speed. Such nice timing. All right, let's watch this at 75 because this is clearly sped up and that's annoying. Read, play side, A-gap, push, boom. That's so nice. I know, I, I, this 
like what's top speed where where was where was the acceleration to like you know free the horse's speed where was the acceleration to jailbreak speed i don't know that was weird and he stumbled a little bit so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna give him a pass on this one but i'm definitely watching open field speed now a little bit all right watch the, all right so we're gonna, that's exactly what i wanted this angle right here these vanderbilt jerseys are fire watch how he feels this out right so there my play side a gap is open that's where i want right very clear once we get this double team set up this double team gets set up all right i'm pushing here right but these linebackers stay relatively clean and so i've got to time perfectly how i get through this right when 53 disengages boom oh that's very nice there well done 74 should do a better job like, look at him turn. He's turning his hips because he's feeling the double team. But 74, you still got to work with flow, right? I'm talking about 74, this nose tackle right here, right? So he has turned his hips because of the double team from 53 and this guard, right? But still, 74 has got to work with flow to close down this gap. He stops his momentum. He doesn't work with flow. See, you see him stop himself right there, right? And that's what allows this alley for Michelle to take. Watch Michelle take it once it's there, though. Boom. Nice acceleration. Balance through the contact. And he struggles to get on his horse here a little bit. I don't know what's... I don't know. He doesn't feel natural getting to top speed. Look at how jacked he is, man. He's just stacked. Oh, body control. Oh, mama. Oh, heavens. Oh, that's so impressive. That's a great run. That's a great run. That's fun to watch. I don't need to see the extra point. That's some good stuff, guys. I've seen two very exciting runs from him where he's kind of broken it into the second level. This looks like it's gonna. I'm gonna be happy with this as well. He's got a little draw situation, right? A little draw for Sonny Michelle. That's the correct read right there. That's this that we. I think my favorite trait I've seen so far from Michelle, contact balance has been really good. Vision has been really good, and it's related. But to me, it's feel. My favorite trait I've seen so far from Michelle is feel. And let me tell you why. Watch. Oh, let's bring this to half speed. And watch the way he addresses this second level situation. So I'm climbing right now. I see. What do I see immediately? All right. I'm set up here. I've got this cut block coming in here. You're free. Where am I clearly going to go? I'm going to go this direction. All right, that's easy, right? So we play the table a little bit forward. Right now, he's choosing to go this way. Now, he sees already buzzing down right here. So now he knows my ideal path is between these two defenders. Look at how quickly he makes this decision, right? He has just started turning his hips and his body this way, right? And he's already processing what the next directionality is, what the next choice is. Watch how quickly he decides to get upfield. Boom. And he can't, you can't take that any tighter, right? Like, he literally scrapes the butt off 53. This is, that's, that's such, like, industry of motion, right? Like, so many other running backs are either going to belly this out this way and then decide to cut up and be in a bad situation, or they're, they're just going to continue this way, right? And there's going to be an angle here for this defender to come get down. Sonny Michelle, none of that nonsense. Look at that. That's really, really nice. That's a nuance, but it's valuable, and I love it. All right, we at the end of this tape, or do we have one more play? Yeah, right at the end of this tape. All right, that was one rep there of Sonny Michelle. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that, that tape that we got from Sonny Michelle. I'm about 24 minutes in, so this is where I will call it for the live stream. That was Sonny Michelle against Vanderbilt. Guys, there's a, lot of, there's, there's a lot to really, really like there. I'm not sure I'm ready to call that. I've seen people call that a round one, uh, beginning of round two running back. I'm not sure I'm there yet as far as, you know, obviously I'm one game in. I have a lot more tape work to do. But the vision and the understanding and the feel, especially on zone concepts, looks really, really sound. The thickness to the lower half and the balance looks like it's really, really promising. And there certainly is a click there. There's an, there's an acceleration. There is a click there that is very exciting in a zone scheme runner. I'm still looking to see how he looks at the second level. I also do have questions about how he works through his holes a little bit because sometimes I'm wondering if, if he's pressing correctly, but I'm wondering how good he is at getting skinny and how well he understands leverage. 
we've seen some good stuff and we've seen some bad stuff, so you definitely want to get further into that. Um, I'm, I'm asking questions about top end speed as well, obviously, as I think I said. I've been Ben Solak, uh, uh, NDT Scouting, National Scout. You can check out, I'll have Sonny Michelle notes up pretty soon on the site as I get through the rest of his tape. Thank you for watching. We're going to do it again soon. Have a good one, guys.